Hey guys, this is Miguel from GTF Outdoors. We're here for another episode, just teaching you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. Hoping you guys can uh, pick up a few things and share that on to the next generation. Uh, today we're gonna cover in this episode how to make some floating rigs. And we've got a few examples here to teach you guys to um, target smaller panfish. We've got smaller setups for that to setups like this big that can catch you anywhere from um, carp to catfish. So we're hoping you guys will have fun with these videos. Please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, GTF Outdoors, and we're hoping we'll get some more videos out there. All right guys, see you soon. Uh, so today we got set up, uh, we're gonna set up with a floating rig. These kind of bobbers you can actually pick up at Walmart for just a few bucks. Um, they're very versatile because you guys can actually use them uh, for having heavier baits on the bottom and casting them and floating them through a little river or creek uh, for bigger species like catfish, carp, and so on and so forth. Uh, these are wonderful if you're working with sensitive or uh, fish that are really finicky because if you have a thicker bobber like those little ball ones we grew up with, they're gonna cause a lot of resistance and the fish won't wanna pull it down and actually spit it out. So this pencil float will actually just sink down and cause minimal uh, a resistance when it goes down so we're gonna show you guys how to rig it up all we're gonna use today is just gonna be some uh, bread you guys can all right guys we got fish on got a little small carp you bit the bullet this is what I love about carp you know even till the very end they're still fighting Let's see if we can bring him in. Didn't bring my catch net today, but we're gonna do with what we got. There it is, guys. That's how you pull out some. Uh, Beautiful fish out of uh, any one of these stock ponds, even lakes. I'm gonna teach you guys all how to catch that rig so you guys can have some fun with your kids and family or just come out here after work. This is good stuff. All right guys, so this is the first example I wanna show you guys. This is obviously a slip float setup and we use this if we wanna make sure we adjust the depth of what, how far deep we're wanting to fish. When we set up these kind of setups, this little snap swivel will actually hook up to your leader that'll have a little loop, of course. And that leader will have your little hook at the bottom, okay? And what you're wanting to do with these kind of rigs, uh, you want to be able to target the fish and figure out how deep they are. And you might have to cast it out there a few times to just figure out how high you should slide your bobber up on your line and versus how low, because that'll affect how far down below the water surface this will hang. Uh, hopefully that's where the fish are suspended and that's where you'll catch uh, most of your fish time after time, that's the beauty of it. So this will enable you guys to do that. Um, I've shown you guys here, I've brought some of my fishing line. This is a Berkeley Vanish six pound line. Um, most of the fish you're gonna find in a lot of these stock ponds, a lot of these lakes, um, unless you, you're, you're target fishing something bigger, a six pound fluorocarbon should do you good. Uh, the next example I want to prep is take you guys over here. This is a setup used for obviously bigger fish. And if you notice, this is a weighted slip float. That means instead of the float being uh, all over the place, and if it doesn't have enough weight, it'll actually stay leveled out like that. But this unit actually comes with the weight on the bottom. So as soon as it drops in the water, it's gonna stay right up. I've actually, when I set these up on my rigs, I actually place, because I want them to set up as a slip bobber setup, 
I actually placed another egg sinker down below. Not a big one, but just enough where I can actually make sure my leader goes down, especially if I'm fishing in a current where unless I have some weight attached to it, it's only gonna stay a lot higher than what I want it to. Um, for bluegill, this is actually a setup I've actually learned uh, from one of these uh, uh, genius guys that I follow, uh, Luke from uh, Carp and Catfish, or is it catfishingcarp.com? So this setup right here is actually a very interesting one. So if you notice, all of these are slip bobbers. Very lightweight, and I love this brand, Phil. And what I've done here, I've actually shown you guys the, the regular bobber stopper that you cut off the threads when you're ready. But I've also included here an image of a rubber bobber stopper. And the reason I placed it on there is because this rig right here is specially made for targeting small uh, panfish like crappie or bluegills. And the reason I say that is because when it's in the water and you've got like a little hook and you've got a little hook on the bottom of that rig. This is your water line. Because it doesn't have a weight on there, it's gonna stay that way. Okay, and what we wanna make sure we do is when we have our fish, when the fish are right here, and forgive me for a poor drawing. All right, guys, so we have our fish here. So a lot of these fish, especially small ones, are at times uh, really finicky. And what we want to do is when they bite it, we don't want them to actually feel the hook and we don't want them to feel any tension. So when they bite it and they got a little worm on the bottom, it'll actually cause this float to actually stand up vertically in the water and go down, letting you know that you got a bite. It's a lot more responsive of a bite and you know, a bite detection that you're able to actually find out when to set the hook. This is an amazing setup if you're wanting to uh, kick up your fishing game just a little bit more. This is gonna help you guys figure out and catch a lot more fish. Of course, these setups, like I mentioned before, these could be a lot more sophisticated, what most people are used to. Um, never shy away from going back to the basics if that's what you guys are after. You guys can always go back to the basics, get a simple float. And what I'm gonna try to do with most of my videos um, is try to purchase a lot of this stuff from Walmart. Um, and the reason I wanna try and do that is because um, not everybody has a Cabela's down the street or a Sportsman's down the street or a Bass Pro Shop down the street. Most people do have a um, Walmart down the street. And I wanna make sure people have all these equipment ready and available to them. So that's the most common setups I use when I'm slip bobber floating. And I've got some bait on the bottom. If I got like some cut bait, I'll probably use a setup like this for some carp or catfish. If I'm using this kind of a setup for a small bluegill, you know, you can't beat this kind of a setup. It's amazing. And the reason I place this on there is so it has a certain amount already, um, a certain amount of line already set up. That way, um, there's no more weight added to it, but it's already fixed at the length I want. And of course, this is the kind of setup I use. Even I've caught carp using this rig. So guys, try those rigs out. Let me know what works best for you. Uh, leave a comment or a question in the description below, and I'll be more than happy to answer it. All right, guys, go ahead and like and share this video. And don't forget to hit subscribe to my YouTube channel, GTF Outdoors, so we can keep putting these videos out. All right, guys, talk to you soon.